million dollars worth of watches, gold, and jewels. Damn! But how did it work out? I ain't gonna lie. This is like, this is kind of fire, bro. Like, I don't encourage it, but this is fire. Like scenes from a movie. Some runway. And then floors it in the <laughs> Punching through the glass on metal frame <laughs> He said that shit. What the fuck? That shit, bro. That poor clerk. He's Why so you run? <laughs> Why nigga run like NPC? <laughs> like, you should do From the inside. <laughs> that poor clerk. Hey, yo, we back, bro. We got genius drool heist wrecked by sloppy mistakes. Bro, niggas literally playing GTA. These jewelry really heists bro. were highly orchestrated and certainly brazen. What the fuck? They were heavy handed for sure, but in a surprisingly yo. calculated way. Yes, there was a smash and definitely yo. a grab. But behind nah. the scenes, there was so much more going on. The sheer effort these gangbangers put into planning their ram raid spree may nah, look like they had fire. a touch this of genius fire. about them. And they did make off with almost a million dollars worth of watches, gold, and jewels. Damn! But how did it work out for them? Nah, them niggas did the fucking casino heist, bro. Worth of watches, gold, and jewels. Bro, but million, how did it work bro. out for them in the end? Well, here's a hint. When the pants you're wearing get stuck on a fence during your getaway and end up on a forensic examination oh, table, it's brother. not going to be a good day. Wait, what the fuck? And if your wallet, phone, and gun are with them? Well, yeah, much more so. Bro. The mob reporter here breaking down the inside details behind a pair of shocking high-value jewel nah. heists that look... I ain't gonna lie, this is like, this is kind of fire, bro. Like, I don't encourage it, but this is fire. Like scenes from a movie. But the Yo. script for this thriller soon becomes a comedy. Bruh, Let me fuck. tell you about it. The group at nah. issue is the Chester Lee Crew, an active gang named for the street and housing project where members first met in the Scarborough Toronto. region of Toronto, oh, Canada's shit. largest right. city. The crew mapped out their jobs in remarkable detail. Let's break it down. Oh, shit. That's what they're talking about. Once Brampton. they choose okay. a target in Please. a strip mall, they arrive out front early in the morning in several cars. Here they are outside their target in Brampton, Ontario at 8.18 a.m., parking in two spots right in front of the store. They are there to reserve these spaces for later that day, when the plaza will be busy. Honestly, first things first, why would you come in a Range Rover, bro? Like, you know what I mean? Like, bro, get a car that's like low-key on some shit. Now, please note the jewelry store's security cameras are an hour out of sync. Someone forgot to spring forward for daylight savings time. At 11.24 a.m., they move the Range Rover out from one of the spaces, making room for a stolen van, a white Dodge Durango, which is carefully right. backed into place. Durango. You'll see in a moment what's inside the Durango. Bruh. At 11.30 a.m., a guy covering his face is dropped off at the second car. He moves that out of the second parking space, making way for a stolen... Oh, shit. Is that the shit they broke into it with? Red Wait. and white tow truck with a sturdy wheel lift bar sticking out back. Now, a few... I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Like, if you have everything planned out, like, and you have a bunch of boys to do this with, I ain't gonna lie. How many people is doing this? I ain't gonna lie. Like, if it's, like, all covered, you're, like, you know what to do and shit, and you don't get caught, like, bro. There's so many people that would do this shit, bro. Minutes That's so hard this, not to get eight caught, Eight miles away... Another guy in the crew saunters through a different plaza and busts off a couple of shots. Harmlessly oh, distraction, the right? Distraction, the distraction. Salon. Rattled witnesses, of IQ, course, bro. call police. Bro, T Grizzly did that too, bro. They, they, like, they called like a shooting or some shit in a school. The cops went over there, and then they went to go like, rob a jewelry this store. This is meant as a distraction. Back at the jewelry store, the crew are waiting for police oh, this patrols is so fire. to respond this is fire. to the this salon is to buy them time and a little more space. It's now 11.37 a.m. Inside the store, the poor clerk is pretty oblivious to what's at play and what's about to happen. Scratching his head and staring into space. Another day in retail. But outside, mm. after waiting a few minutes for the Yo. distraction to do its job, it's time to move. <laughs> yes, the sir. tow truck pulls forward to give it some runway and then floors it in the <laughs> Punching through the glass <laughs> on the frame He said that shit. What the fuck? Here's right. what it looks like from the inside. Yo, the niggas busted in that shit, bro. That poor clerk. He so Why you run? <laughs> Why nigga run like NPC? <laughs> like you should do. From the inside. <laughs> that poor clerk. 
He certainly got a jolt, but thankfully no that injuries. Glass, that glass he wisely him just got out of the way. Like she got in his eyes? Once the tow truck extracts itself, it drives away. And at 11.38, almost on the dot, four bandits squeeze out of the Dodge Durango, climb over the rubble, and That's scurry badass. into That's the so storm. badass. That's so quickly planned. They know what planned. they're there to do. There's no fuss. Smash and grab, Just bro. a bit of struggle to break the display cases. They had problems with that at a previous heist, where they even shot at the cases, but they didn't shatter, and they had to use the butt of their guns to break them. This time, they come prepared with hammers. That's they fire. grab all they can and stuff it into bags. Buddy at the back here needs a hammer for the cases there. Nice catch. We can't see what he's grabbing. He's either just taking his time or found Bruh. something really worth This is for. really some GTA shit. Them niggas really in the lobby and all that with the fucking genie skins and Outside, shit before starting. Are gathering, attracted by the loud crash and sound of breaking glass. But they quickly suss out it's a heist and move away. That's Notice smart. the van's know, front driver's side door has never opened. On God, I wouldn't stitch on I just asked a nigga to send me some shit, you know what I mean? So a getaway driver is sitting on God, the I would have stayed in the car, bro. Waiting and watching them. Oh, never mind. He in the car. Less than 60 car. seconds after the last guy entered the store, the last guy to leave runs out. That's pretty fast. The bandits scramble out of the store and back into the Durango. And off they go. But Damn. we'll see this van again in a moment. Yo, them niggas really dipped out. Like, I don't know how they get caught. Somebody some probably some dumb shit, bro. But like, Their plan bro, that was work. clean. Twice, in fact. After each heist, the crew met up at their clubhouse, which they called the shop. It's five miles south of their old hood, Damn. and there they divvied up the loot. Them niggas really got like By Oscar, the second bro. heist, however, police were already focused on the Chester Lee crew as part of a larger guns and gang probe. The crew's headquarters was under surveillance, and officers moved in to bust them. Part of the crew That's was crazy. in the rear driveway and bolted. I'm about to catch an ad. Hi, I'm Reggie Ron. And I'm his brother, Electric Cloud, and we are Bro, free. shut the fuck up, bro. They clearly had difficulty making it out what? of the fenced backyard, victims of their own security. Investigators followed a Bruh. trail of dropped cell phones, lost shoes, a fallen wallet, what? a gun on the fence. Bro, niggas is so dumb. And the fact that they used real guns is even worse. And I'll tell you why. Because already they in Canada, right? Guns are like prohibited. Like, pan pistols are prohibited. Them niggas are going to get charged, bro. Because not only that's like armed robbery if it was a fake bb gun or some shit they would have gone and bb guns like exactly like this they would have gotten away with the fine like they would you know what i mean and like light brown only using that to scare people with the gun. they're not going to kill fire. anybody on the other side of the fence was a pair of pants that matched the ripped cloth left bro in the oh the my wire. god these niggas are stupid clearly the runner got snagged while hopping the fence discarded his pants to free himself and continued his run Police Bro, later found yes. security video of a suspicious man jogging through a driveway in his socks and boxers. What? The wallet they found was chock full of one Bro, guy's identification. GG's, 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 GG's. Nah, that nigga got fucked. Nigga got caught in 4K, all that. Got caught in 4K without a mask. Niggas found his wallet, all that. That's tough. Other officers found the Dodge Durango. How did niggas steal a whole Dodge Durango, bro? It was somebody's job to burn the stolen getaway vehicle to destroy oh, evidence. Oh, my God. But Buddy with the gas can didn't seem to realize that fire needs oxygen as well as a source of ignition. So when police recovered the Durango, they found an open gas canister, a Zippo lighter, and a book of matches. Bro, but the would-be arsonist only managed to scorch a bit of upholstery, melt the plastic of the center console, and singe some gloves that were presumably used in the heist. Huh. That was kind of Police smart. even found some of the loot inside. Evidence was oh, piling shit. up. The full takedown by the task force was a big Yo! one. Yo! It was a sweeping probe into smuggling and selling Yo! trafficking and gang violence. Nah. Them, that's that's crazy. After bro. eight months of investigation, police from several forces fanned out in and around Toronto to execute 99 arrest and search warrants. It's in fire. June 2019. That's crazy. That the really was called them down. Project Kraken, as in release the Kraken, the mythical sea monster. Yeah. Investigators alleged the Chester Lee crew had links not only to other street gangs but also with members of the Italian mafia. 
that's pretty much the top of the food chain in Toronto's underworld. Seven. Yeah, that's facts, bro. Uh, up there, Canada borders and stuff. Everything's ruled by the mafia. Three people were hit with hundreds of charges. Police brass said the crew operated as a coordinated criminal organization, but in the end, it seems it was all for nothing. While some of those arrested have pleaded guilty, including someone who helped orchestrate these heists, others Damn. are fighting their charges in court, and the allegations against them have not been proven. Mm, Thanks yeah. for watching, and please subscribe. That's a fire sure vid, bro. That's a bell. fire vid. That's crazy, though. Them niggas really got, like, them niggas got fucked. That looked, like a, that looked like a nicely executed job. Distractions across town. Good setup to make sure they had parking spots they needed. And then now in 60 seconds. Too bad for them. The clumsy hideout escape and pre-existing surveillance. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, that shit was fun as fuck to watch. I ain't gonna lie. That's crazy. That's fucked. Bro, if they had different headquarters... And that dumbass nigga wouldn't have like been stuck, and they had a pre-existing way where they would have left by, they would have been easily gone. They would have been gone, bro. They would have been gone. But even then, you don't know, cause like you know, what I mean, there's they were already getting like watched. But yeah, damn, that's fucked, yo.